Hello everyone, I'm Adrian, and in the following minutes, I'll be presenting our novel approach that brings together NAS and binary networks. Despite their unrivaled accuracy, running state-of-art models is slow and expensive in the cloud and impractical due to computational constraints and limited battery life on mobile devices. To improve the model characteristics and satisfy the plethora of targeted hardware, custom architectures are designed in a laborious process by human experts. All in all, the deployment of neural network faces practicability and cost issues across the stack. With this in mind, we propose to tackle the two jointly, proposing a novel approach that aims to speed up neural networks while diminishing the human invested time. One hundred friendly and promising direction for speeding up the model inference is network binarization, which is notorious hard to train. Another promising direction which can be used to automatically find optimal topologies is network architecture search, Ideally, we would want to combine the two to maximize our gains, yet there is no work that attempts this, and it's unclear if our combination can result in better and faster networks, given that binary networks are hard to train, while NAS methods are known to be unstable and susceptible to collapsing into degenerate solutions. To this end, for the first time, we explore to combine NAS and binary networks, proposing the binary architecture search BAT method a framework that drastically reduces the accuracy gap between binary neural networks and the real world counterparts. We show that directly applying NAS to the binary domain provides poor results, describing to our knowledge for the first time the three key ingredients for successfully applying NAS to the binary domain. As we will later show, our method sets a new state of art for binary networks on various datasets. Given that binarization is intuitively difficult, why do we care? Well, binary convolutions are up to 64 times faster and 32 times smaller on a modern CPU. Such networks outperform in terms of efficiency by far any other times of network compression or quantization. So what exactly is a binary convolution? How is a binarization performed? Well, given a real value convolution operation with weights W and input I, we define its binary approximation by taking the sign of the weights and the input features. Additionally, a per channel real value scalar scales output. As such, all the multiplication inside the binary convolutions are replaced with bitwise operations. Herein, we propose the binary architecture search BAT method, a framework that drastically reduces the accuracy gap between binary neural networks and the real valid counterparts by means of neural architecture search. We show that direct applying NAS to the binary domain provides poor results. To elevate this, we describe to our knowledge for the first time the three key ingredients for successfully applying NAS to the binary domain. Specifically, we introduce and design another binary-oriented search space, propose a new mechanism for controlling and stabilizing the resulting search topologies, and three, we propose and validate a series of new search strategies for binary networks that lead to faster convergence and lower search times. One of the key components that make NAS successful is our constrained search space, its quality being often the determining factor on how good the search architecture can perform. For example, there is only 0.5 accuracy gap between a random search and darts on CIFAR 10. However, not all operations used for real valid case are suitable for searching binary architectures. In fact, we found that when using the standard dart space, searching the binary domain does not typically converge, which is due to several reasons. The depth-wise convolutions are notoriously hard to binarize due to the so-called double approximation problem. Well, the rear value depth-wise convolution is a compressed approximation version of the normal convolution, and in turn, the binary depth-wise is a quantized approximation of the real valid one. Furthermore, the one-by-one -one convolutional layers and the button length blocks were already shown to be hard to binarize because of a feature compression that amplifies the high information degradation already caused by binarization. With this in mind, we propose a new search space constructed from a binary first point of view that avoids or alleviates the aforementioned shortcomings. While we preserve the zero and identity connections alongside pooling layers, which do not contain learnable parameters or binary operations, we propose to replace all the convolution operations with group convolutions and delayed group convolutions. This removes all the one by one layers presented in the self search space while maintaining the efficiency via the usage of groups. Note that the proposed search space offers a slightly higher gap between normal search and random search, which suggests that on one side, the new search space is still optimal while leaving more freedom for the search method. We also know that due to the gradient mismatch caused by estimating the derivative of a sign using STE, exploding or vanishing gradients are more likely to occur. To improve this, all operations have a single convolutional layer as opposed to up to four convolutions. This facilitates learning and improves the latency due to an effectively shallower network. 
Finally, to further improve this, we explicitly add an identity connection on each convolutional operation. Despite the success and appealing formulation, DART accuracy can vary widely between our runs and often it can collapse to the generate solution that contains most of skip connections. While there are various heuristics proposed to elevate this, for the real valid networks, we find that most are suboptimal for binary ones. The main issue that we notice when searching for binary networks has its roots in the search methodology itself. The output of an node is obtained by taking a weighting sum of all incoming gauges. And in order to maximize your flow, the architecture parameters tend to converge to the same value, making the selection of the final architecture problematic and susceptible to noise. This results in topologies that may perform worse than a random search. To elevate the formation issues and encourage the search procedure to be more discriminative, forcing you to make harder decisions, we propose to use a temperature factor lower than one. As we can see in the figure shown on the right, it has the desirable effect of, of making the distribution of architecture parameters less uniform. Hence, during search, the network cannot equally or nearly equally rely on all possible operations by pulling information from all of them, as it's already in the case of t equals one. Instead, in order to ensure convergence to a satisfactory solution, it has to assign the highest probability to a non-zero op enforced by subunitary temperature. This behavior also follows closer by evaluation procedure where a single operation will be selected, reducing aside the performance discrepancy between the search, where the network pulls information from all parts, and evaluation. Furthermore, notice that on average, the architecture uh, T equals one has more than 50% of search connections by identity. As opposed to this, as we drop the temperature, the network includes significantly more convolution layers, in particular, a larger one in the network. Since binary networks are harder to train, we propose to perform the search using an, a network in which the weights are kept real and the input is binarized. This correlates well with the final performance when we train a fully binary network and is more stable and faster to train. Overall, our approach is capable of discovering high performing binary cells, offering new or validating existing insights about optimal binary topologies that help draw some important conclusions. As depicted, the cells found tend to prefer convolutional layers with larger kernel sizes, such as 5x5, five five, which help alleviate the limited uh, representational power found in such networks. In addition to preserving information flow, a real value path that connects one of the input nodes to the output is always present. Furthermore, since the downsampling operation compresses the information across a special dimension, to compensate for this, the reduction cells tends to be wider, so more information can flow through as opposed to the normal cell, which generally is deeper. As the results show, our method significantly outperforms the current SOT and NAS methods typically deployed for real networks. On ImageNet, under the same computational budget, our method significantly outperforms prior state of art by more than 6%. Similar conclusions can be drawn again on CIFAR 10, where our method outperforms significantly all prior methods. To conclude, we propose the very first NAS that successfully trains highly accurate and efficient binary networks, setting a new state of art across a series of image recognition datasets. Our work further bridges the accuracy gap between binary networks and the real valid counterpart, making them a viable option. With this, my talk concludes. Thank you for your time. And if you have any other questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Code will be made available shortly.